Hi guys, welcome back to the Play Hard Look Dope podcast. If you are new here, let me give you a rundown of what we talk about on this show. So the Play Hard Look Dope podcast is hosted by myself, Ebony, and John, who will join us shortly. On this show, we discuss all of the hot topics that are going on in society. We talk about social issues, we talk about trends happening, talk about personal experiences within these issues, and we do a lot of storytelling as well. So I would say that you could almost call us like a 360 podcast. We kind of talk about any and everything that comes to our minds and anything that we think is valuable to share with you. Of course, with all of these topics, we like to add a sense of humor. If you guys have been following us for a while on our other platforms, then you know that we use humor in almost any and everything that we do and what we talk about. We talk about the serious to the silly, so we kind of cover everything on this podcast. So it's gonna just feel like we're just sitting on our couch and you guys are just like hanging out with us, like we're just talking like friends in in a small setting. We welcome any and everybody to watch our show, to enjoy it. We love the feedback feedback that we get from you guys in the comments and we would love for you guys to always send us new topics that you guys would like us to talk about and like us to cover and give our opinions on. I did touch on the storytelling for a bit but I do want to let you guys know that we are going to be incorporating more of our personal experiences and story times for the podcast because you guys have asked us several times on other platforms start sharing stories and personal experiences within these issues and for today's episode it is a full-blown storytelling episode you guys are going to love it we're going to get into some crazy story times funny some of them sad some of them scary some of them gut-wrenching some of them really actually hard to believe that's what is going to be lined up for today's episode before we get into today's episode i would like to ask you guys to please subscribe that's the only thing that i'm going to ask from you is to subscribe to the channel whether you're listening on spotify apple or youtube please subscribe and follow our channel so that you do not miss a new episode that we come out with also by subscribing you help our channel grow you help us with the algorithm and so thank you in advance for subscribing and following on our podcast channels as always our episodes are sponsored by play hard look dope which is our lifestyle jewelry and apparel brand it is your one-stop destination for sustainable quality and fairly priced accessories for men and women we also have a store located in the lower east side of manhattan new york the address is 45 first avenue new york new york zip code 10003 without further ado let's get into this episode Welcome back to another episode of the Play Hard Look Dope podcast with your host, Ebony. And John. <laughs> and John. Now at 10, almost 10.30 at night, so bear with us. So for this episode, we are giving you our first ever, no, actually it's not our first ever because we did this with Vegas, but we're going to give you our second ever story time, real life experiences, crazy stories funny stories sad stories gut-wrenching stories hard to believe stories you guys have been asking us for this youtube likes to censor everything and so we are going to be putting the censored more toned down episode on youtube if you're listening on youtube and if you are on spotify and apple then you're in for a treat because you have the uncensored version of our story times there's really no definitive niche here we're not good at niche we both have adhd Niche is not happening. We can barely stay focused long enough to have a niche. I don't like keywords or any bullshit. John doesn't like holding, so don't say labels. I, have that. I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't. Baby, you have ADHD. I don't You're so sweet. Fine with it. I don't. I'm not identify. It's it's you don't identify. He's like I don't uh, define with it. <laughs> you are gas blasting me. I don't identify with it, so I don't. Therefore. I.e., I don't have. But what what would you call it that you have then? The fact that you a great personality. You okay? Oh, I don't need a label. So I didn't even know we were doing this. No, he didn't know. He told me we were doing (laughs) one podcast, (laughs) and now I'm on numero uno. Yeah. So guys, we don't have John for that long because his attention span, like I said, deuce. This is a big deuce. (laughs) Deuce number two. (laughs) It's a big number two. (laughs) So how we like to start every single episode is having John tell us the highlight of his day it's but the it's, same the same day. Day. <laughs> it's the same day so what are the highlights <laughs> should i just like cut it in from the other video and just add your highlights in or could you think of like any other no, highlights? I have other highlights so interestingly enough i was walking as i was walking to the store there was a big plop of shit, like diary of shit, and i'm sorry and it just what? spread all over and everyone was like oh going crazy so I was like, why didn't somebody clean their dog shit up? I don't know if that's a highlight. That's not a highlight. Oh, I, that's an observation. Oh, that's, okay. that's not. So 
What? It was a beautiful day. We woke up and our apartment's on the high floor. It looked like we had all our shades down. It was so foggy. Yeah, no, it was and like... And then, yeah. miraculously, listen to me, miraculously, the fog <laughs> lifted. <laughs> Did you get wet? The oh. fog <laughs> lifted and the sun came out. That's a highlight that is john loves the sun the moon yeah. the stars yeah and any day i wake up is a highlight is it really because this is what john says every single morning that his alarm goes off yeah that's the first word I out do. of his mouth I can't believe that a that man is this so positive funny. his first word every no, morning and to my routine i shut the alarm yes I go take a leak. Yep, get water. I come out, I get a one and a half liter bottle of water, and I start sipping on that. Now we have to tell you guys some of our craziest stories. So I just can't wait for you guys to hear this story. What story? This is the story where John was robbed at oh, point oh, in New York City. Take it away. Leaving a nightclub. Can I mention the nightclub? You could say whatever you want. So... I was with friends at Tao Nightclub in the meatpacking, and we had a table and, and got late. It was probably, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning. How long ago was this? This is pre-COVID, so five years ago. I leave the nightclub, and I'm a little, you know, inebriated, right? So I walk out, and this guy's like, come on, dude, I got a car, I got a car. And I never go in cars like that, you know? But he seemed like a decent guy. I was like, all right. Okay, yeah, I'm only going literally 20 blocks, which is a mile. I'm going a mile, you know? So I was like, dude, how much? He's like, $10 cash. I was like, fine. Let me just backtrack. I've heard since then, a lot of times people in the club find people, you know, they see that they have a nice watch, whatever, and mm -hmm. they communicate with drivers outside and they're all in. Oh my Cahoots. gosh. Yeah, I've heard that. They're all in cahoots. So anyway, so we get in the car, sitting in the back, and the guy's like being cool and we're chatting and, you know, I'm like three quarters to the sheet or whatever they say. Three sheets to the wind. Yeah, there yeah you go. I can't believe I got <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, you got that right. You know, <laughs> okay. and, I'm, and I'm, I'm just, I'm like, I'm going to be home in 10 minutes, you know, good night, whatever. Let's. You were know. you alone? Yeah, I was by myself. Of course, yeah, I was okay. by myself. So I'm in the car. And then next thing you know, we hit a traffic light. The guy turns around with a f literally on my head. Oh my God. I'm like, dude, what the f are you doing? That's what you said? Yeah. I was like, what the f are you doing? He's like, what am I doing? He's like, I want you to watch. I had a Cartier watch. It's like a $7,000 watch, which I saved up like for years and years and years and that was my watch mm. i went to cartier i actually picked the watch out i spent my hard-earned money on it saved for so long and i was like oh my god i loved loved that watch he's like i want your watch i was like dude i said you're not gonna pull it he's like oh try me dude try me try me i was like dude there will be all over here 100 close range right what are you gonna what are you gonna do with that then what's gonna happen what's gonna happen he's like i don't care give me a watch and i feel like a dick right now because like i should never have given him anything but i give him my watch and he's like now give me a phone are you f serious so yeah. it wasn't it wasn't enough no he's like give me a phone and he and he i was like dude what the f is wrong with you you know so i'm not thinking so, so at I'm this point are you still at the traffic light or now you no, now he, he pulled over he pulled over and he's like shut off uh share my phone with share whatever the fuck oh it's my called. god he called? was like find my iphone totally he's like shut that off i was like really dude so i did that and then he's like and now give me a fucking wallet and i don't have a wallet but i have money you know he let me keep my driver's license and my credit cards and he took my cash he's like and i get the fuck out and he just left me there, and I just walked home. Did you see him? Oh, my God. Yeah, I f***ing saw who he did was. Did he have a mask on or anything like no, that? No, he didn't have a mask on. No, no. What and did I've he been, look like? I've been robbed many times. He was black. Mm -hmm. I've been robbed many like times. Like long hair, short hair, like like accent. He had a hat on. He had a hat yeah, on. Yeah. Any accent I, at all? So I grew up in a rough neighborhood in Brooklyn. I've been robbed many times. Yeah. I've been robbed of my sneakers. I used to take the train to high school. 
And like I was one of the few people of my color in my neighborhood. So I was taken advantage of and I had my hoodies robbed and this. So I'd been robbed like six, seven times, which is annoying to me. That's a decent amount of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah that yeah. really is. That's and a that's lot. that's why when like somebody tries to come into the store. Like earlier today, you fl- like the guy yeah, tried no, to walk in. Right. And, you- and he was a crackhead. And I was like, no, we're not. We're not doing this anymore. I have to say, I spent time in the gym and you know whatever. Yeah, that the way that you run up on people that try to come in the store is the opposite of what people would think would happen to you when you have been robbed so many times. You run up, you run to the problem with your chest back, a different voice. Like today, I didn't even see the guy, and he's like, "Dude, you're not coming in here." And he's like, "I didn't, I didn't even no, hear the whole he, exchange." And then he's like, "I just want to show you something." I was like, "Dude." I'm not interested in anything you're going to show. Right, right. So when you were walking home, like... I felt like the biggest loser that I allowed somebody to rob me. I would have rather, and again, this is like, I shouldn't have been a And I should have told him, no, pull the He's not going to pull the trigger. He's not going to pull the trigger. Like, pull the trigger. And then what? What would you do now if that happened? I would say, pull the You're not getting my watch. I would throw the and watch out the window. What are you going to do? Yeah. And I wouldn't go into a car. Was it one of those like cars that. with that fake Uber sign in the front? It was guy outside. In the, the black I, it car. It was my fault. I was stupid. I trusted somebody I should not have trusted. Yeah, you shouldn't be going in those cars. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Right. The worst thing to do. And so you like walked home. I mean, do you even remember seeing the car drive off or like what? Like you had no phone, you had no watch, you had no cash. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So the next day I have to go to Apple and say, you know, I lo- and I didn't even report it. What am I going to do? Yeah, no. I mean, there's Why no, would I report it? No so that's like another you, you didn't have a license. Yeah. That's not fucking report. No, yeah. you let me keep my license. No, but you didn't have his license plate. No. It's like, I, no. they're like. I, what am I going to do? Take it with my right, phone exactly. that like, Yeah, exactly. Like how are you going right. to. Right. And then he's got my Oh, yeah, so I felt like a big loser. So were you, did, I know that you were like drunk, but did you even think of like your life at that point when the gun is to your head? It was on your head? On my head, like right here, bam. Because he, he just turned, he just around, turned around, around from the driver's seat. He's and like, so give like, me a fucking watch. And like, so the fact that he knew I had a nice watch on, Yeah, like, like he, did he assess that all when well, I walked cause out? Well, because he called you over, right, you said? Yeah, he's, so he probably but they looked. all do that, right? They all do that. But see, I feel like it was someone on the inside saying, "Hey, this dude's leaving," oh, you know. But that's what I feel like. And so, like when you I have like to that. your head, like what goes through your mind? I was thinking, is he gonna pull it or not? Is is my life or whether or not he's going to do it? Should I? Cha- it was like, should I challenge him? And today, I would be like, yeah. F- no, do I it, know. Today, you're it, way do worse. It, do it. No, do it. No. <laughs> you're like so no, I would much be like. F- do it, dude. You don't have the balls. I mean, he wouldn't have gotten away with it. Obviously, the would have been too much, like too many well, people. Well, today I mean, in, in New York City, yeah, he yes, would have gotten away with 100%. it. one hundred percent. He would have gotten yeah. let right back totally. out on the street. Totally. <laughs> but totally. um, and it wasn't the first time this has happened to me, as I said. Right. So yeah, but this is the first time, right? Yeah, I've had like knives and you had things. a knife. Yeah. What was that in high school? knife pulled on me on the train going to high school to steal my shoes on your feet the shoes on your feet yeah oh yeah. so they said which like- i bought myself not my parents i bought so i waited till the train pulled in on the station pushed the guy and ran like a oh good so they didn't get your shoes shit, yeah you were so no. yeah you were in high school yeah and then i had a hoodie stolen in junior high school yeah been robbed many times you grow up in rough neighborhoods that shit happens I mean, or you go to nightclubs and leave in the wrong cars, that shit could happen. You think that still happens today? Yeah. The, I think I would... I, I mean, mean, that's the whole point of, like, Uber, because you have a car number and all that shit. Yeah, and the camera and, and the And even, car. like, women have said they've, you know, gotten, like... Yeah, yeah, things have happened. Things, right. Like, I wasn't even... Nerd. I was like, dude, you really... I was like, dude, you really are going to do this. This is what this is really about. Yeah, because I it's wouldn't... Like, and I'm like, dude, do you really need this f***ing watch that yeah. you will pull a f- 
And what about all the people that say get the guns off the streets? Yeah, well, no. Well, how about get that off the street? I honestly street? feel like... And you think he's got a legal... No. No, somebody, like, made a really good point once. They were just like, they, they want all these laws around... They're like, we see how that works with drugs. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. like, right. the criminals... When has a criminal followed the law? Yes, that, that's not my highest point. Yeah. It's one of my lowest points. Do you ever, I, like... I feel like I was a... And I should not... Giving him my f watch. Well, you had you had kids. I did have kids. So I that still do. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it makes you not a p because you know you had to think about them. I should shit. have been more prepared. Where like, okay, if that happened, and that's why you see me right now. I'm, I'm like so it so is nuts. right, totally right. Like right. I can't even stand in certain parts of the store because John's like. That's not a clear and, view for me. He's like, I can't see. I've I need been robbed so many yeah. times. Yeah, but yeah, you are very hyper. Right. You're hypersensitive right. of like how we walk, where we walk, the, right. like if we talk when we walk. Who's it's like, around? Who's and around? I like, see people, on, and I'm like, yeah. And even like like I said, like even in the store, I can't even stand in certain parts of the store. You're like, uh, can you move over? And that's because my prior experience. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. I would not wish that on anyone. I had a situation where I was robbed, but it wasn't at a point. I've had a few, but I had one where I was working at this club in Brooklyn. And um, I was like making a lot of cash. And I would like get out at like 4 a.m. And I had this Ben Sherman bag, like this pink Ben Sherman, like massive carry-on bag. And it was full of cash. And I would take the train from that part of Brooklyn <clears throat> to the other part of Brooklyn. So I was in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, and I would go to Morgantown, Brooklyn. Like I would have to get on the L train or like I would take the train in Brooklyn, the, the NQR transfer, get on the L. So it was like on the train, it was about an hour, hour and 15 yeah, minutes. that's a long time at that hour. That's yeah. not a good idea. No, it's not, not a good idea. Not. But like sometimes like when- But what's the alternative? Going to a cab where you don't know the person they pull? on you no right. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no so like sometimes better I would, off with the conductor no so like sometimes like i would have like a car service but it would be like 50 dollars, and i was like i i really just like that night i just wanted to keep all of it like for myself and i was like just take the train a bunch of people take the train at that hour there were people on the platform like there were nurses there were other bartenders there were doctors there were you know whoever right so I get on the train and I'm I'm wide awake because like you know I've been drinking since like 8 p.m. So I'm like I'm not I'm not a, like tired, and I'm on the train and I transfer to the L train and I get off of my stop which is the I'm I'm Morgan L Morgan and I go up the stairs but in the dark there were no lights and my apartment was three houses away from the train but, like how does a city have a transit system with no lights there were That's no lights on that station right, right yeah so i get out and i have my bag with me like, no headphones or nothing i'm just a little bit i'm like a little bit i'm a little bit inebriated right and all the fuck and i'm about to go to the diner that's two like blocks up so i could see the lights of the diner i do this i did this every day and i get up the, the stairs and all of a sudden i feel this weight of something and i had the bag on my right arm i feel this weight just like like, I felt like a football player just went and bodied the bag. Like, yeah. And just spun me around and slammed me on the ground. Had Like, he had his palm on my face to the ground. And I had my bag, like, wrapped uh, around me because yeah. it was a crossbody with the handle. So I had the crossbody yeah. on. Yeah. And the button was at the bottom. So I was face down on the ground. So I was trying to scream. But every time I screamed, he would just smash my face. Like, I thought he was going to crack my b bones on the... Yeah. Oof. Literally, people were just oof. walking out of the train, like going the f right. over me. And he was like, "You like, give me your bag, give me your fucking bag." And I'm like, just like, I'm like, all right, all right. I'm like, all right. Like, I'm like, I'm just like screaming, and I'm like, you, I can't. I was like, I can't. So since I was face face down, he had his friend come over and like rip open the the zipper because it was it was like a carry on bag, and the zipper was hanging over like this, like to yeah. open like this, to yeah. open it like a like a tote yeah, bag whatever the fuck they open like, i mean like i mean like just like think like cash it just looks ridiculous right yeah and they just pulling shit pulling shit, and he's holding me down he's like pull get the get it the fuck out get it the fuck out shut the fuck out and i'm just like screw, i'm like and i and i just give up and i was just like okay like okay like okay and then he lifts me up like arch my back and his friend ripped the bag off my whole body and they just 
around. I just like, I get up and I'm just like, a quick message from Play Hard Look Dope. Have you ever found yourself frustrated with the limited and overpriced options when shopping for gemstone jewelry? We understand the struggle. That's why we're proud to be a small business offering the best selection of gemstone jewelry and sustainable tarnish-free gold and silver accessories. Our gemstone jewelry is handpicked by our team to ensure the highest quality and uniqueness. Each piece is carefully selected to stand out and make a statement. And we don't stop at just gemstones. We're also committed to sustainability and offer a range of tarnish-free gold and silver accessories. So while you may pay a little more upfront, you'll save in the long run by not having to constantly replace cheap, easily tarnished jewelry. Thank you for supporting a small business. Now, let's get back to the episode. My phone was in there. Yeah, so I My, mean, you I worked mean, the whole f***ing night. The whole for night. To feel, in, what does that make you feel? They feel entitled to steal your sh right and i didn't even see them I, i'm trying to think now if i saw them come to the turnstile like i can't even, i cannot remember no one looks suspicious sure on the train jumped the turnstile Pro could yeah probably yeah. Yeah. and they fuck they didn't i didn't feel any objects on me like it wasn't like there was like anything yeah. i just mean like force like yeah. face and then i i started screaming in the beginning and he's just like shut the fuck like he would sm like like i was mm. like he's gonna break my face if i keep screaming like yeah and i am two houses away from my house it is i will not forget it was literally like 27 steps because i use i count yeah. everything it's 27 steps mm. and that happened and i get up and like people are coming out so people that are now coming out they just think that you just fell right they don't see right, there's like, they, oh, this fuck. Drunk, yeah they see each other woman, like this yeah. is a drunk woman and i go in the fucking house and i'm like it was like the woman who fell the other day yes bike, and everyone thinks yeah everyone thinks caught, yeah. and i go in the house and now it's like what is it? It's like 5.30 in the morning. Like, I'm not going to wake up my roommates to use the phone to try to call. I didn't even know what I was. I think I was going to try to call my cousin because I knew that she was at a spa somewhere, uh, like the day spa, whatever. But I was like, I don't know how to turn my phone off. I was like, I've never had my phone stolen. I was like, right. I don't know what to do. Right. And so I went into my roommate's room. I, like, I knocked on the door and I apologized. Like, I'm so sorry. I just got robbed like outside. <clears throat> and she was just like, what the f you know, we were flipping out. We called the police. I mean, they, what are they going to do? They took a report. Yeah, it's nothing. Right. I lost everything that night. I didn't have a way to get to work the next day because right. I didn't have any of my, I didn't have my right. debit card. Right. I didn't have my subway card. I didn't have any cash. So I was like, how do I get to work? So then I had to, uh, the next day, like to get to work, I called my boss and he was like, okay, I'll, I'll send you a, you know, a car or whatever. That was but cool. it was yeah. like the feeling of being like Violated. robbed. Yeah. 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 I was just like, yeah. so from then on, I just had, I never took the, like, yeah. like never took the train at that time. On my phone, when he made me turn off, find my phone, he made me clear the phone as well. He so made was, you factory yeah, reset it? Yeah, it was wiped clean. So he had a brand new phone and then he could sell that. And so you're too. sitting there doing that and you're just like, yeah. are you, you, got you, my, you? He's got, got a, a gun gun head. My head. Up the next day and I was like. You think it's like a nightmare happen. right this yeah didn't fucking happen i was like no my watch is here my phone is here and then it's not there i was like oh this was not a fucking nightmare no it, it, yeah. right i woke up the next day like yeah. that too i was like okay yeah. i made money yeah and the thing was the worst thing for me was that my rent was due in 10 days yeah. and i was only going to be working like the week was going to overlap yeah. so then i had to deal with being late and like landlord doesn't care that you're raw like when politicians say like crime is not that they say crime is okay, but they allow crime. It's f because it's always a victim. You were a victim. Yeah, I was a victim. True, that's true. That's true. That's true. And now true. I'm like hyper. I'm like, all right, you want to yeah. go? Let's go. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, and now like so that affects people. Yeah. Just like crazy people have been affected. Right. And their mental capacity has been changed. So is. One hundred percent. So is mine. I mean, and also the other thing that I did do, I it, it I incur I incurred more financial costs just because I picked up an extra day at work so that I could cover the cost of getting home via car. I would not take the fucking train. I didn't take right. the train home right. Right. for like three years. Three years. So I had to pay forty, sometimes fifty dollars, and I wouldn't get. They used to have share Uber share. Yeah. I would never share. So I would pay like forty five dollars to get home every night. I was like, "That's that's just built into my now." Yeah. And so I picked up an extra day because these right. 
scumbags. But um, another cool story that, well, not cool. I mean, this wasn't, <laughs> these were not cool stories, but like another story that I kind of love of yours, there's two of them. Oh, so geez. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Not only was John held up at, he was actually shit at. <laughs> I mean, this is a funny story. <laughs> No, it's like, no, yeah. I got no problem with this. He story. was shat. So, I mean, how many people do you know that have been held up at and then shat on the Hudson River um, by a pimp? <laughs> so, <laughs> this was a while ago. So, um, so take we were on our friend's boat, and this was before, uh, I don't know, how would you find a woman who would like flash her? on a boat in the back of a magazine this is before no oh, this is before oh thank you there yes. you go right right yes. before that before that way before that right right yeah so we got the magazine and we found somebody and we called him so this was a bachelor party this is a bachelor party our friend was getting married we're like that okay. friend could be listening yeah that's fine <laughs> i hope his wife is not because <laughs> he's still happily married and they may not know this story so Buckle up, Greg. <laughs> Buckle up, Greg. <laughs> and if you are John's children, only one of you. I mean, both I mean, of you. I mean, one cool. of them would be like. One of them's gonna be like, oh, of course. Of course the other that. one's gonna be like, this is so f cool. I'm telling all my friends. <laughs> one of them's gonna be not surprised. They're neither one of them are gonna no, be surprised. No, they're not gonna be no, surprised. Be like, one of them will roll their eyes the other and be like, this, this is, is f amazing. amazing. Let me tell my friends. <laughs> oh, uh, this is before. As she said, we got a magazine. It was Eric. called Screw Magazine. <laughs> That's what it was called. And like it had ads in there and blah, blah, blah. And it was like, you know, um, I don't know. Have fun with a stripper for a bachelor party. I don't know, whatever the f*** it said. So we call him up. And we, so we had to go to a pay phone. We call him up. We're like, all right, meet us at the pier on the west side and 79th Street. And we'll pick you up. And we want two girls. So they come with two girls, and we're on the boat, and there's like four of us. And like, I was not interested in partaking with this, but I love the whole f vibe. Energy, <laughs> the vibe, yeah. So now we're on the dock. So, you know, there's two girls there and a guy, and I assume the guy is just like walking them down the aisle, if you will. So I grab my hand, and I. It's, it's, escort one of them on you escort one of the escorts escort. correct women of the day the women of the night women no it was day women, women of, the, of day. the day okay. right on the boat and then my friend's looking at me and he's like give me the eye like what the fuck is gonna happen with this guy and then i escort the next one on and she's on and then i see him like going to put his <laughs> foot on the fuck boat and i'm like dude a quick message from play hard look dope have you ever found yourself frustrated with the limited and overpriced options when shopping for gemstone jewelry we understand the struggle that's why we're proud to be a small business offering the best selection of gemstone jewelry and sustainable tarnish-free gold and silver accessories. Our gemstone jewelry is handpicked by our team to ensure the highest quality and uniqueness. Each piece is carefully selected to stand out and make a statement. And we don't stop at just gemstones. We're also committed to sustainability and offer a range of tarnish-free gold and silver accessories. So while you may pay a little more upfront, you'll save in the long run by not having to constantly replace cheap, easily tarnished jewelry. Thank you for supporting a small business. Now, let's get back to the episode. We already have a bunch of dudes on the boat. You're not <laughs> invited. So I look at my friend and I'm like, and that means like, hit the f <laughs> what, what do you call that shit on a boat? Boat people let us know. You, the, hit the gas. The throttle. The throttle. Woo! I was like, pull the throttle. You don't hit it. You pull the throttle. Pull the throttle. And I look at him. I'm like this. He's like, like that. And I'm like, so he's going to go on. And I push him back. And he goes stumbling back. We hit full throttle. Take off. He pulls the out and starts shooting at Is that. that not insane? Shooting. Pop, 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 pop. And he had like no fucking aim. He could have sank the boat, I guess. He could have shot us. <laughs> I but, honestly. So we get out there, and the women were so cool. They like they didn't. Were they care. laughing? Did any of you guys duck? It was like you know, it was like a thing. <laughs> we were drinking beer, and and then we get out there, and, and now we're at the seaport, and I'm telling the women, I'm like, so the seaport back then 
was very like business like and you know like there's all guys in suits and women with their like half pump heels and whatever the f they wore back then this bull tie you know and they're all sitting and this is summer they're sitting they're standing on the pier and they're looking out at the at the Hudson River and we come down there and we go slow in front of South Street Seaport and I'm telling the women flash and they're flashing and everyone's going berserk it imagine was so being on the ferry going home no from but work this was the pier oh so South people Street are just like Seaport. randomly sitting randomly there randomly standing on the pier and then they just see girls tits yes I mean like yes. is that not John's a like yes is that not a treat <laughs> That isn't, that's what they call an afternoon Unless, delight. Imagine the husband who just got caught cheating with his wife. And he's like, honey, let's go to the pier for a nice, you know, I'm, I apologize. Let me take you to lunch on your break. And he sees tits. He's like, she's like, the f is wrong with <laughs> He's like, I mean, there's never usually tits here. She's like, this is where you came, right? This is where you used to come to see all the tits on the island. And he's just like, I promise you, this has never happened. And then making them kiss, make it out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that goes yeah, 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 yeah. Not making, asking. You you ask them to make out with each other topless. Yes, in front of <laughs> yes. the crew. <laughs> if, if he had an attorney, they'd be like, don't answer that. Yes, actually, in front of the crew. In front of the people out there partaking in some afternoon work delay. So, like, it was a work day. Work <laughs> this before work day. <laughs> It was a work I day. love your face. It was a work day. So, like, <laughs> so they could they come out for f***ing lunch. They're like, let's get a sandwich and a yodel. <laughs> what the f*** is a yodel? Is that a blow Comment. No. Oh. <laughs> it's a hostess. Twinkie. It's, oh. a hostess. it's a hostess. And then they come out and they're getting more than a yodel. He's more like, than a hostess. I'm getting a Right. It's like, it's been an afternoon delight, I'd say. It's like, let's go back to our three o'clock, Jeff. <laughs> no, and then and then Andre's like, cancel my four o'clock. He's like, I'm having I'm a yodel. I'm staying on the pier. He's like, I'm staying on the pier with my yodel. Totally. It's like, where did you guys go after all of that? Was it just a ride around? You no, just wanted we, the women? No, we or? had a flight. With the women? No, with the fucking women. So where'd you drop the women off without their pimp? Back, back where we picked them up. And then we're like, okay, we need... Okay. And what was, what was the flight? What was... Oh, Tower Air. We're what? on Tower Air. I've never heard of that. So then we're like, all right, we need to park the boat. We need to go to JFK. So you had luggage on the boat? Barely. They didn't give a f <laughs> No. <laughs> we're just going. It's and like then, this podcast. They were in the same clothes. <laughs> like, right, what? right. And then my friend's like, all right, so where are we going? And I was like, dude, we're doing five days in Costa Rica. And I didn't put a period after my sentence. He's like, oh, excuse me. And we just me. let it go. No, and we, <laughs> and we just let it go. And then we did five days in Costa Rica. F Wait, off no, they the did five days in Costa Rica. First. Yeah. Right. And, and then they lied to their friend. They didn't lie to him. I told him. He's like, where are we going? Costa Rica. Because I planned the surprise bachelor party. No, but to you like, not, you're missing going? the whole... You're... No, I'm not. I said, we are going for five days in Costa Rica. And I left it at that. I didn't tell him the next five days, nor <laughs> did he ask. I'm sorry, a lie of omission. He omitted that information. So then when they were on the plane and he thought he was landing at home, he landed in Puerto Rico. Right, for another five days. But for the five <laughs> days in Costa Rica were fucking off the charts. What happened there? What didn't happen there? I mean, this is a fun story. And I don't know if you could take this story and not take this story. But we went to a place called Hollywood in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, okay. Don't know if it's still around, not around. And it was... A club where women may or may not reveal their upper body. <laughs> yeah, it was a so fucking it was the boat. It was the <laughs> boat with the pimp that <laughs> on them. Right. So it was a strip club. So we go to a strip club and we were having a f ball and like buying like champagne. Did you get a lap dance? I mean, like there, there were things going on there. First of all, it's not America. 
So oh, the anything. shit that they allow there makes for a good party. You had a good time. I had a good time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm like, you could put your hands here or you could put your fingers somewhere else. Mm, so what mm. did you do? You dabble. When, when in a foreign country, you dabble. And you just had a great time. I had a great Let's time. Let's just say that Johnny had a great yeah, time. Johnny had a great time. <laughs> so like we had a f blast and we were like so cool and we were like right in front of the stage and they love, everybody, you know, the staff loved us and blah, blah. And we get the bill and it was like four of us, it was like 800 very reasonable, right? Yeah, that, yeah. For a night like that, champagne buying the Yeah, for the girls, fingers going right. in places, eight hundred right. is pretty. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So then we're like, oh yeah. my god, you know, we go home. Next night we do the same thing with the same male staff, you know, encouraging us to do the same thing. The oh same yeah, they bouncers, love you guys. Yeah, the for sure. Same, it's the same managers. Yeah. You know, there could be different women and that kind of thing. And what we're doing the same thing. We're having a ball, and it's the same thing, right? Manager comes over, drops the check, and the check is like eight thousand. Eight thousand. Yeah. I was like, Are you guys sure that you read that right? Like yeah, not eight hundred, like, but eight thousand. I was like, Come on, dude. I was like, now you fucking rip that us sobers off. you up quick. Yeah, and he's like, Gringo. He's like, this is the fuck bill. He this called the you bill. that. Yeah, he's like, Gringo, this is the bill because we were all Gringo. So one of us was not. One of us was from uh, that. So and he's like, Gringo, this is the bill, because I was like the point man, you know. So I was like, come on, and he looked like. Johnny Quest. If you Google a cartoon, Johnny Quest look like Johnny Quest. Oh, with the like the hair thing that like goes like this. <laughs> no, that's the cartoon. No, that's Johnny Bravo. Oh, ah. Johnny Johnny oh. Johnny Quest. He's like a short, fat Spanish guy. Oh. I literally Sorry. thought Johnny Bravo. You gotta <laughs> block that out too. I, I, yeah. <laughs> which part? The whole thing. Oh. I said a short, the whole cut guy. the story. <laughs> So, and then he, he gives the check and he's like 8,000. I was like, come on, dude, that's ridiculous. We were here yesterday. We did the same thing. We were the same booze. There's no food. Yesterday was 800. Today's 8,000. He's like, that's the fucking price. I was like, oh, dude. I was like, you know, you were so cool with us yesterday. I don't understand, like, now why you're such a fucking dick. That's what you said. Yeah. No, totally. Totally. Talking to him like a real fucking guy. Like, dude, now you, I said, dude, now you're ripping me off. I was like, I'm not fucking paying that. He's like, no, you're paying that. I was like, no, I'm not paying that. I was like, you know what? I'm not fucking paying anything. He's like, what? I was like, I'm not paying anything. I was like, I'm fucking walking out. And I look at the guys I'm with, the guy from Trinidad and Polish guy and and they look at me, they're like, I was like, no, we're fucking leaving. And they're both, the three of them are like. And the the bachelor is probably like, what so the, the three fuck? Of them, yeah. Right? It was the Trinidadians bachelor party. Right. The, so, well, the bachelor right. must have been like, right. guys, what the fuck? Right. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, no, we're leaving. And, you know, the three of them follow me. And the guy who looked like Johnny Quest, he's like, Sura Puerta! Which I didn't even know what it <laughs> meant as it back then, but now I know it means like fucking seal the doors, close the doors, done. seal the fucking doors. So the bouncers, all of a sudden, they all pull their <laughs> out. Legit, they everyone. There's like fucking four doors. They all have like and this. And what kind? Like little ones? Like fucking Fu a, a that's right? Well, yeah. I mean, some of them. A and they all have guns out. And they're like this. And I, I take a deep breath. My friends look at me. <laughs> He's like, again? John's like, this this has happened to me before. I'm like, my friends look at me. I'm like, let's all chill. Let's chill. Let's just fucking chill. And then Johnny Quest comes up. He's like, you're paying the bill. And I'm like. Wait, so so say that. Wait, I, I lost it. Who, who came up and said the that? Manager. Okay, the, the manager. Okay, the manager came like up Johnny to you. Quest. Okay, yes. Johnny He's like, Quest. here's your bill. And I'm like, my friends are looking at me. And I'm like. Let's just chill. Let's see what happens. And it lo it's it's looking bleak. It's not looking good. And then apparently the Costa Ricans in a, were in a Costa Rican club. Yeah. 
and the Colombians, and I didn't know there were Colombians in the Costa Rican club, don't get along with each other. Okay. And I thank God for that. It's huh. not like that. It's not like the Palestinians and the Israelis, but this is like I thank God that the Costa Ricans don't like the Colombians. In terms of like just people in the club, wait. So, so like who? I mean, who doesn't get along? Like in the Costa Rican women don't get along oh, the with the women. Colombian okay, I thought you were gonna women. say like the, no. The, so it's it's people there. guys with <laughs> who don't get along with anybody who's not paying their bills, mm -hmm. and the women. Mm. Costa Rican women and the Colombian women don't get along. And okay. thank God for whatever you want to say, protests for people not getting along because they started fucking fighting with each other. No. Yeah, like fucking Oh, I didn't know this part like of the story. Like a cat fight. <laughs> They're brawling. So what happens? The bouncers put their guns away and start trying to fucking... Like I mean, they full-on start fighting out of full nowhere. Full-on start fighting, and there's other people in there, you know? It's not just yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying to break it up. I look at my friends, I'm like, let's go, giddy up, giddy up. So, so you guys, you told them, you like, get the fuck out, let's go. I was go. like, let's go, yeah. And they listen to you? They're looking at me like, What's, what come are you up with do? something, come up with something, figure something out, figure something well, out. Well, so the club... And I just waited and waited and waited... What the and fuck were you so, thinking? I don't know. I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. What am I going to do? I'm not paying eight grand for bullshit. Oh, my gosh. So I was just like, waiting it out. So Let's the wait. club lost Let's out. Wait. You got a free fucking night. They should have taken the They should have taken bucks. the 800. Yeah. 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 So we just fucking ran. I was like, run! Ran up the fucking hill. Got in a taxi because his taxi is waiting there. Yeah. And just no one came after you guys, and you guys were all like, holy shit. So you survived your second yeah. fucking situation. I mean, like, honestly, yeah. are you going to get tired of being pulled on you? I mean, I don't want to pulled on me. Thank you guys for hanging out with us this episode of the storytelling segment of our show. We're going to be doing Thank more you. of these, you guys. Um, we have some... What the oh. was that? I just keep looking for people pulling behind my back. You look like the crackhead on the street outside. Who just made eye contact? Just pulled on him. Okay. Well, that didn't yeah. look like that. That's what it looked like. Okay. Well, you haven't had it. Oh, okay. Well, if I did, I would never snap my Cause, neck cause that your way. My neck would be. Disoriented. John literally does that when people come in the store and they go. Yeah. Because I'm. And I'm like, that's not a good. No. <laughs> He's well, like, no, it's not. Let me know if you need help with anything. They're like, I. Taboo. They're like, let me know if you need help with anything. I've been. What, what's the word? I've been traumatized. Tabooed, traumatized. He said, I've been tabooed. <laughs> I've been traumatized, right? <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with us for this episode. We will see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Bye.